Do you come to the Cloud District very often? What am I saying? Of course you don't. I will review some clothing brands that have recently become popular among the white run elites. Only the close circle of the Jarl is allowed to wear these clothing brands, not anyone else. Of course I have been tasked with picking the best brands. Let us start with Balenciaga. It is all the rage these days. Everyone from Grelad the Kind to Jarl Balgruf himself is rocking the Balenciaga drip. The glasses, the coats and the premium robes are currently in style for the Skyrim spring season. Here is me in the Balenciaga common shirt. Would you look at that shirt? Surely a peasant like you cannot afford a brand like this. The enchanted design comes from the best tailors on Tamriel. Gucci is a brand that is popular among Dunmer, especially the ones from Ravenrock. Vivek, a former tribunal guard, disappeared. But the last thing he brought to the Dunmer before the Red Year after achieving Chim was Gucci. Look at it, you peasant. You will never have something like this. Now, let's explore what is more popular with the ladies. I am talking about Louis Vuitton, of course. This brand originates in High Rock. Bretons definitely know how to make premium bags, shirts, robes and other clothing items. In fact, it is such a prestigious brand that some mages, witches and even necromancers have adopted Louis Vuitton as their go-to. Look at this necromancer in the Louis Vuitton robe. You will never wear that drip, you commoner. My wife, Alam's favorite, is Dolce & Gabbana, one of the most popular clothing brands among the Red Guards. You can find boutiques for this brand even on Stross Mackay. The design is out of this world, literally, and only those who have achieved Chim have access to this brand. I do quite enjoy their robes. Here are some Red Guards posing for the camera in Dolce & Gabbana gear. Don't even dream about wearing any of this. Do you know what they say about Prada? Only the Daedra and Daedra worshippers wear Prada. However, that does not change the fact that it is a high-end brand summoned from the depths of Oblivion. Prada has the best bags and glasses that you can find on Tamriel and Oblivion. Here are some Dremora lords with Prada bags and glasses. Even they have more money than you, peasant. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Moving on, the Dark Brotherhood surely likes their Giorgio Armani brand. Sure, it used to be popular among the Jarls of Skyrim, but these days, it is the prime go-to of skilled assassins. It is not even the Dark Brotherhood that has recognized the value of Giorgio Armani. It is also the Morag Tong and some members of the Thieves' Guild. Look at these dangerous fellows rocking the Giorgio Armani suits combined with Dark Brotherhood and Nightingale armor. I don't like to be stereotypical, but the Argonians really like to wear Lacoste. Seriously, I don't understand choosing a clothing brand based purely on the Crocodile logo. Do they feel solidarity or something because they are reptiles? Lacoste is a good brand with some recognition, but compared to the other brands mentioned here, it is not the best of the best. In any case, they still have better taste than you. Look at these Argonians wearing Lacoste t-shirts. Chanel is a very popular brand among the high elves, surprisingly. Most of Somerset is covered in Chanel products. You can't go anywhere on that island without finding a boutique somewhere. The brand is so popular that the Thalmor started ordering their robes only from them, putting H&M out of business in the whole of Old Mary Dominion. I don't like the Thalmor as much. However, I have to give it to them. These new Old Mary Dominion uniforms, coupled with the Chanel brand, are exquisite. Just don't tell them that it is made in High Rock. The moment you tell them that Chanel is a High Rock company, that is the only time they will argue that Bretons are elves. In all other matters, they consider Bretons to be human. Look at these Thalmor Justiciars rocking some Chanel drip. Surprisingly, the most popular brand among the Khajiit is Nike, even though it really does not fit them. They walk around everywhere in Nike hoodies and smell like moon sugar. Even you have better taste than they do, I must admit. Oh, don't look at me like that. You're still poor. Here are some Khajiit wearing Nike hoodies. Let's finish it off with Versace. This is a brand that is not very different than Giorgio Armani, but it is still very prestigious and can only be found among the elites. You might be surprised who wears Versace and Tamriel, but it is actually Wood Elves. You might think it's a little too masculine for Bosmer, and to that I'm going to say, who are you to judge what is masculine, feminine or whatever? Anyone can wear what they want as long as they are rich. You can't even afford H and M. Here are some Bosmer rocking that Versace look with the glasses and suits. This concludes my overview of some of the most popular brands in all of Tamriel. Do you wear any of those? Oh, what I am saying, of course you don't. I will go back to Chilfaro Farm and go over my wardrobe now. You run along now, do whatever it is poor adventurers do. Oh, I am pretty sure the Jarl will appreciate this drip.